as I said to you the other day, if you don't win, you're gonna cop a story. So it's your own fault if you don't wanna sit through another one of my stories. I think this one's an important one to tell. It's a story about a little boy, smallest kid in his team, stars in his eyes, thinking about all the possibilities. And what a moment this is for Tim Cahill, finally a soccer after years of fighting for the chance. You're part of a journey with this group of players that, in my opinion, have done it, you know, the hard way. You know, left our families, our country to go and play a trade in, you know, different countries to, you know, follow our dreams. He started scoring goals almost from the first game. He wasn't going to waste time, and maybe because he had to wait till he was 24, every time was going to be precious for him. And then the time came for him to really do what he can do in a national team shirt. He wakes up a nation. Hasn't got there. Harry Kuehl, and then poked home by Tim Cahill! Australia have done it! Cahill, Cahill! Tim Cahill has done it again! What a goal! Uh, it's de de most definitely the, the pinnacle of my career, you know. It was only for half an hour or so, but uh, it was the biggest half an hour of my life and uh, a lot of Australians back home. You know it's going to be his day because he's, he's that sort of person. He's done it time and time again. Tim Cahill has done it! He's always been it. Mine and a lot of my friends' favourite player growing up. Sitting and changing with him, he, you know, it just picks up the place. More challenges to overcome, again, he scores. That little kid is this bloke. Everyone knows who that is. You show that picture to any part of the globe at that time, and they know who he is. And it's Australia's Mr. Exceptional. His will or his want to achieve and his belief in his ability to score goals and, and you know, be a presence on the pitch is, is what has made his career Australia's best ever, obviously. The ball's dangerous! Oh! Tim Cahill! Can you believe it? He's done it again! <laughs> again, he woke up a nation. Again, when the odds were totally against us and against him, he showed the world what it is to be an Australian footballer. Maybe there was one thing missing. One more driver for him. Tournament on home soil and an opportunity for his nation, the country he loves, to win something. Back in by Frenich. And Cale going for the spectacular. What about that? What about that? Australia are kings of Asia. He learned a few things along the way. And he learned it from this group. Because when he was younger, like all champions, he was focused on himself his preparation. He wanted to be ready for the game. He wanted to make sure he made an impact. He wanted to make sure that when the time came, he was the man that delivered. And now, he's starting to care about the people around him. He now becomes a leader. Timmy was good with the young boys as well because they were comfortable in coming up and talking to him. You know, he always made himself available, which I think is important. Excellent uh, for young players in the team, even for myself still at this. I've been with, playing with him for nine years, but I still look up to him. Oh, too easy! A tap in for Timmy! Decent ball in Cahill! He's there again! I think that's the most important thing that I've learnt with Timmy. Um, you know, you can't change what's happened. Um, you can only look forward. When we played Syria, he, it was almost humanly impossible for him to play 120 minutes of football. Hangs it up, Cahill, there it is! He's, he gets up there and he scores the winning goal for us. A half century of international goals for Timmy Cahill, and all rise for the greatest goal scorer Australia has ever seen. The story is important, boys, because we get to share in it. And you may not realise it now, but you will in the future, you'll remember. You shared a dressing room with this boy. I've said it before, five minutes, 95 minutes. You know, I enjoy, I, I enjoy just playing football. As you get older, you become more wiser and I suppose what will be will be. I speak to a lot of the young players and all we talk about is you get that moment, you've just got to take it.